Russian President Vladimir Putin and U.S. President Joe Biden will pay special attention to the situation in Karabakh. The statement came from Russian President Cyril aide Yuri Ushakov. RIA Novosti reported. He noted that during the summit between the two leaders, special attention will be paid to the Nagorno-Karabakh Artsakh issue. The Russia-U.S. summit will take place Wednesday in Geneva, Switzerland. Ahead of acting Prime Minister Nikola Pashinyan, who is the ruling civil contract party's candidate for prime minister, visit to Goristan in Armenia, Sunik province, the video camera of News AM spotted a sniper located on the roof of a building near the town square. Earlier, Gori's deputy mayor, Manuel Sepian, had posted a photo noting that there were virtually no Gori's residents at the election rally with Pashinyan and those in attendance were primarily the participants in his motorcade. There are armed Azerbaijan soldiers on Sunik province roads, the human rights defender of Armenia, Arman Tatoyan, wrote on Facebook. Reports are being received that Azerbaijani flags and signs are used on the roads between some communities of Sunik province as an excuse to deploy Azerbaijani armed servicemen there. As a result of these actions, all the free movement of people has been disrupted. In addition to disrupting the safe and peaceful life of the population as guaranteed by the OSCE, their presence is also a continuing violation of the right to free movement of persons guaranteed by Article 2 of Protocol No. 4 to the European Convention. As of Tuesday morning, 82 new cases of the coronavirus were confirmed in Armenia and the total number of these cases has reached 223,805 in the country, the National Center for Disease Control and Prevention informed News AM. Also, one more death from COVID-19 was registered, making the respective total 4,489 cases. The number of people who have recovered over the past one day is 227, and the total respective number so far is 215,455.